Now you learned some things about him that occurred in 2010 on the internet, correct? I learned from my neighbor. Through your neighbor, and what did they show you? I would constantly cry to her because she was my friend about how I had to see my dad and how I was scared that I wasn't going to come back. And one day she told me, you know why he got arrested, right? And I said, why? And she told me that it was because he had sex with underage girls. And okay. it really scared me because he was always a little weird with me. Like he'd touch my leg and he wouldn't stop if I asked him to stop and he called me his property. And I, after that, I was afraid that I could be the next victim. Uh -huh. So you know that he pled guilty to two counts of sexual assault with a minor? Yes. And there were originally four counts, and he made a plea deal, pled it down to two counts, and pled guilty. But he now says that none of that's true. Yeah, I've called him out for it too recently, and he gets mad at me for believing it, but it's an actual court document, like it's a fact. But what does he say about pleading guilty? He said he was forced to plead guilty, and she just plays the victim in the situation. Well, does your dad seem like somebody that would be forced into something? No. Okay. And so what is it you want? You're, you're here today. You, you haven't had a relationship with him in five years. Uh, you believe that he has abused young girls, that he is abusive, has been abusive with you, your sister, your mother. You believe he's still abusive today. So what do you want? I want him to realize that he is not the victim in the situation and to possibly get help. And I want to try to protect my little siblings from being around him and to okay. help the situation a little so bit. So who is still visiting, has visitation with him? My sister sees him occasionally. Uh -huh. Not as much anymore because he moved far away, uh -huh. but my half-sister is with him full-time and my stepbrother is with him a lot of the time. And they well. are how old? The stepsister and brother? Um, she's probably about seven and he's probably about 10. I'm not okay. quite sure. I haven't right. seen them in but a But they're while. young. They're, they're young. And so you're worried about them. You don't want them to go through what you went through. Exactly. Okay. And you're afraid that he could be inappropriate in some way beyond just being abusive. Yeah. Is there any hope in restoring a relationship with him? If he can get some serious help and actually take accountability for his actions, then maybe. Definitely not a close one. You've thought this through, you've talked about this, and you're, you're okay with confronting him and talking about this today because I'm, I'm here to mediate this, right? Yes. Like you don't want to go have lunch with him, but yeah. you're okay to do this because I'm, I'm here for this today. And because I, I, I wouldn't bring him out here and have you around him if you're not okay with that, haven't thought through it, and I have your permission to bring him out here? Yeah. So you're good with that? Yes, I am.